How's it going today guys? Uh, in the garage, uh, today's project I'm going to show you how to um, test a needle in seat uh, in a carburetor to make sure that uh, it is um, seating properly. So what I have here is a, a Modivac F, or sorry, MV8500. It's uh, basically a uh, pressure and vacuum instrument with a piece of fuel line on it and uh, this kit uh, unfortunately is a little on the expensive side probably a little over a hundred dollars uh, here in Canada but um, it uh, has helped me numerous times uh, to diagnose a faulty needle and seat so I'm going to show you how to do that today in today's uh, quick tip all right, so what you do is uh, you put your carburetor together and right now the carburetor is upside down so the float is actually all the way down and what this should mean is, is that the needle uh, which is attached to the float that's your sort of your needle right here right in there uh, that should be uh, sitting properly in the rubber seat so if this works properly what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pump up the pressure inside the carburetor where the needle and seat is and if it's seating properly whatever pressure I pump into there should stay and it shouldn't drop off so um, what you're going to want to do guys here when you pump this up don't pump it up any more than about 5 or 7 PSI. I usually go up to about 5. That should be good for diagnostic reasons. And after about 10 or 20 seconds, uh, maybe not even that long, uh, you should see that the pressure should be stable and it shouldn't be dropping off. Okay, so this one actually is uh, really good. Now, if you pump it up, and immediately it starts dropping off slowly like that. That means that that needle and seat is not seating properly and it's allowing air to flow past the needle. And why that is a problem is, is that your carburetor will then flood because your float will come up and it will try and shut off the fuel coming into the bowl um, but the needle is not actually sitting properly on the seat and it's allowing fuel to bypass it and it's never going to shut off the fuel kind of like an overflowing toilet okay so guys that's how i test my needles and seats now and like i said this has anytime i do a carb job this uh, i do this before i put it back together because I don't want to put it back together and find that the needle and seat is bad. Uh, the other way I used to do it, now this is a clean carburetor straight out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, is I used to blow in this with it upside down. And you shouldn't hear any air bypassing. Now I've found that this method doesn't work 100% of the time because I have actually blown in this before and then tested it with my gauge and it found out that it actually was not seating properly but if it isn't seating properly for sure when you blow into it you'll hear the air coming out okay guys so that's just one other way to test um, that is a crude rudimentary way but uh, it might help you uh, if you don't want to spend a hundred and some odd dollars for this tool. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you learned something, uh, that's great. Thanks uh, for uh, tuning in. And uh, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out on the channel. Um, and until uh, next time, guys, take care.